How's it going, guys? Um, uh, you know, I know beware of um, buyautoparts.com. I re recently pur purchased a uh, AC compressor for my wife's car, uh, Volkswagen Jetta 08 2.5. Um, buyautoparts.com, they're a third party seller on Amazon, and uh, we're big Amazon freaks, and uh, you know, so went ahead and purchased it off of Amazon, which we know it's a third party seller. Sorry, it's hot out right now, Corpus Christi, Texas. Um, I got the compressor back from my mechanic today and uh, went ahead and kept it just because of the fact that um, I knew they were going to ask for it back to get uh, reimbursed but I bought a package deal uh, which came with the dryer expansion valve o-rings pag oil and stuff like that uh, it was like two something 250 well, 300 bucks give or take one of those um, anyhow so it worked for about a month and a half give or take uh, and then we started getting this loud screechy noise uh, let me show you right now what I'm talking about. So here's the compressor. Um, these right here are off of the new compressor that uh, my mechanic purchased from the O'Reilly's here in Corpus. Um, it's a Delta, Delta Parts. I don't know if you can see that. I couldn't turn my camera for some reason. Uh, Delta Parts. You know, yada yada yada. I mean, it looks pretty legit. You know, I mean, it looks clean still. You know, it's got a little serial number down there as well. If you can see it, it's kind of cheapy looking. But so when the wife's car would go be turned on in idle mode with AC off, this is what you would hear. And when she turned on the AC to engage it. It got really loud. I mean, so loud and embarrassing. It's I should have recorded it, and I didn't. But this thing's only, like I said, no more than two months old. They offer a 12-month warranty. Every time you call for warranty, they put you on hold and tell you that they're experiencing high call volume. And those son of bitches never answer. I was on hold for total about an hour and a half. Um first number I got from Amazon was stating um, oh, I think it was a 1-800-188 number um, you call them up uh, you know a little um, answering service deal or whatever it is an automated deal push one for returns push two for I think it was like tracking or some crap like that and then push three for other other calls so my only option is push three because I have a warranty issue and I got a defective part. I'm not returning anything. I'm not trying to track anything. So I got to push three. Am I right or am I wrong? I might leave a phone number uh, in the link down below here in, you know, here in a little bit. But um, so you push three, put you on hold, a little automated deal. Uh, we'll be right with you. Blah, blah, blah. A little chime thing going on. And it keeps on going. A little person comes on again and says we're experiencing high call volumes right now well okay it's about maybe six seven minutes into it that comes on and just keeps on you're you buying the best parts in town you know uh better than oem blah 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 great whatever kiss my ass anyhow oh i can hear that sound this is going still piece of shit Anyhow, I, I had screenshots of my time from when I was on hold. Uh, There's one that I didn't get a screenshot of, which was the very, very first time. I got disconnected. I got real bad signal over here in my house. I got Sprint. Typical, right? Um, anyhow, um, I didn't get that first screenshot, but it was almost like 20 minutes long. And then I uh, said, so you know what? I'm going to screenshot the next one. But before I went on to hold or push number three, I pushed number one, I believe, or number two, or I forgot which one I pushed. A lady answered almost immediately, probably within within a minute, minute and a half, you know, uh, being on that phone. All right, great. Uh, how can I help you? You know, it's like, look, I got a, I got a defective uh, uh, AC compressor. I'm looking to get it replaced or fixed. You know, in reality, I was looking to get it fixed. I know it's fixable. I know the clutch went bad on this thing. I was. Um, my mechanic told me I was holding pressure in my system, so that's telling me it's not bleeding out or anything like that. Um, he told me it was the damn, you know, either the pulley on the on the 
the clutch system or whatever, or it's the whole clutch, you know, because I would try to get both in place. But um, anyhow, that's what I was out. That's what I was trying to do. I wasn't trying to get reimbursed, um, whatever, uh, new part, anything like that. I was just trying to get a new clutch, you know, on this new compressor. But that didn't happen. But anyhow, kept on being put on hold. Told that lady that whatever, and she puts me on hold again, or puts me on that uh, um, department for the warranty deal. Well, it's that same number I pushed, which is number three. Sorry, I just got off of work. Um, and uh, so that was that. And uh, same thing, put on hold. I forgot what my wait time was on that. I finally gave up. It was like 30 minutes probably. And uh, it was already going to be closing time on their part because they're located in Pacific time. So they're already closing. And uh, I told that lady. Um, well, I didn't. I, okay, and then I hung up. And I called back the next day, same number. A different lady answered when I pushed one or two, and um, so I was I, I was on hold again for about 30 minutes, give or take, hung up. So I went ahead and pushed a different number, uh, and it was the same lady in a different department area. I was like, well, so why are you answering both departments if you're you know, well this is customer service. It's like, well okay, so I have a customer service problem. <laughs> I have a defective AC compressor. I need to get it fixed and replaced. Well, you have to go to warranty issue. Okay, here we go again. That's what the lady told me yesterday. I said, I need to speak to a manager. The manager's not here right now, sir. I was like, well, that's what the lady told me yesterday. And I just tell me the same freaking thing with a different lady voice, though. Does that make sense? It's like, look, I have a warranty issue. I'm just trying to get my thing fixed. I'm not trying to get money back or anything like that. I'm just trying to get something fixed or replaced here. Sorry, trying to find my dog. There she is. But, um... Oh. Anyhow. Um, so... She said that I need to get a hold of someone in San Diego, California. And I asked her, well, where are y'all located? She says, in Georgia that this is the tracking department blah 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 located in Georgia you need to get a hold of someone in, in San Diego California which is the warranty office blah 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 all right is there a number she goes well that's the number you dialed it's like okay so I went ahead and did some research looked up online uh, biodeparts.com they had a different number for what Amazon gave me or the email was from the seller slash Amazon so I called that number it was a different um, we're looking for a uh, different um, automated deal. It was a guy this time. It was a guy. The first one was a, it was a girl, a uh, female voice automated, and that was calling towards Georgia. This other number I called was a was a male voice, and I, I went ahead and I didn't even bother. Uh, it was the same thing. Push one for tracking. Uh, two for returns and shit, some bull crap like that. Return tracking shipment or something like that. And three for all other options. Well, guess what? I gotta push three again. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna push one this time. See what happens. So I push one right away. It was a guy's voice. All right. And mind you, this I had the names and I just forgot them all. But anyhow, it's a guy's voice. I said, hey, look, I got a messed up compressor. Blah blah blah. Well, let me go ahead and transfer you to the warranty department. I said, well, before before you do that. Where are you located at, and where am I calling to right now? We're located in San Diego, California. I said, okay, great. This is the place I gotta be in. The lady told me from Georgia that I need to get a hold of you guys in San Diego, California, because y'all are the warranty. Y'all, that's the main office. Blah blah blah. Well, okay, sir. Let me go ahead and transfer you to warranty. All right. Well, guess what? I was put on hold again. Does not make sense. I'm hold forever again. Went and hung up. Had a screenshot of that too as well. Uh, called again. A different guy answered when I pushed one or two again. And I keep explaining my situation. I'm going to give you the warranty uh, department. Um, I said, who's your manager? I need to speak to a manager. Uh, there's no manager to be found again for some reason. You know, it just sounds like they're putting me on the run around, which makes sense. It sounds like a damn scam to me. So in the long run... Please, y'all need to be careful with buyautoparts.com and um, 
uh, just be careful with these guys uh, or just don't even buy from these guys anymore or period because these guys are just scam artists um, they offer one year warranty on all their products bullshit uh, I, I got Amazon right now trying to figure it out um, to fight this case and stuff like that so I can get reimbursed um, like I said just, just these guys are dicks <laughs> y'all are watching this and buy the parts kiss my ass <laughs>